Sally guy here. I'm here sitting here at my casa, drinking with Lily Bay. Thank you for coming by. I know no it's a problem. long drive from your old big old country rich real estate you got out there. So, Lily, what's up? How did you actually get started in professional wrestling? Well, it started in 2008. Um, NSF had just started up not too long ago, and my cousin Bubba, who was known as the Tennessee gentleman at the time. Asked me to come out there and if I wanted to start wrestling, and I started training with those guys. Then we started training with some guys in San Antonio. Then it just all blew up from there. Cool, cool, cool. Hold on, I need a drink. It happens. Take a drink. You spilled it. Party foul, man! Party foul. That's no. That's not how we do it in the country. You don't spill a beer. Oh, sorry. This is Sonny Guy's Corner. I can spill beer anywhere anytime I want to. So I can just... Oh, no. Okay, continue on. Sorry, I interrupted. So, how, how many matches have you had through your career so far? I would probably say between 200 and 225. Do you have a, a, a particular one that stands out in your mind? Um... My match with Jazz and Awesome Kong when I tagged was Simply Luscious. Uh, that was the first match I've really been completely happy with. It's the first time I bled in a match. I'm, and I can say I wrestled Jazz and Awesome Kong. I mean, how many people get to say that? That's true. Awesome Kong just doesn't have signed with WWE. Jazz was two time WWE. Jazz was Women's WWE. Champion. So you were actually in with two WWE stars. Yep. Which is awesome. And, uh, Kong is a former TNA champion. So And they they killed me. The fans hated me there. And I mean that that was the whole reason to be in there, but like I've never and the crowd was so electric. Like you know, you just feel it. And that pumps you up even more in your match to do good. Well, I, I've been telling people this for the longest time and you're gonna back me up finally. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that gave you the Redneck Goddess title. You yes. are you are the one that gave me the title Redneck Goddess. I know a lot of people... They say I copy <laughs> Athena. Hey, I gave it to her. I know a lot of people said, no, no, no. I gave her the title. I don't care if y'all made her bumper stickers or I said Redneck Goddess and stuff. <laughs> I gave her the title Redneck Goddess. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to burst anybody's bubble out there who's watching the damn thing. You did not give Lily May the Redneck Goddess on it. No, it was at IHWE. It was IHWE. When I wrestled Diamond IC in... November of 2009. Yes. I remember that show. Like, I come out and I'm trying not to laugh because I see you there with a the sign. And, you know, it's 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 a, one of the memorable points in my career. I followed you around from this place to this place to this place to this place. I think I've seen you like maybe six, seven different organizations that I've been watching, I believe. Let's see. <laughs> At one time, I was wrestling at 15 different promotions. I know Maybe you were there at least, at least seven or eight of them. Yes, yes, yes. I, I do travel. I do travel. So, have you ever got to hold a belt at any of these places? Every time I get a title shot, it just seems to slip away from me that much. But I don't need a belt to solidify me as a wrestler. I mean, I have enough experience to do well. I've wrestled people with names. Uh, Rachel Summerlin, Jessica James, Athena, Jazz, Awesome Calm, Nicole Matthews, Portia Perez. I've I've learned something from each of these girls, and, and they're wonderful. Is there anybody out there now, I don't have to be just in Texas, but I think you face with everybody in Texas. It's yeah. Worth, worth facing. But is there anybody out there in the independent circuit in the U.S. Or, or Mexico that you would like to face? I would love to wrestle Nikki the New York Knockout. Um, I want to wrestle Polly Star in Mexico. Um, there's so many people I, I want to get a chance to wrestle. And, you know, I just got to get my name out there a little more. I, I've got to prove to people that, you know, I'm worth booking. So, me and you go way back. I swear I know you from back when you were a yoga booty, but that's that's the story because I was thinking heavily back way back then. When I was going to booty, but I really think I know you from way way back then when I first saw you at NSF mm -hmm. at Bloomingfest. 
I was telling Angel, I, she was Angel then, but she is now. I was like, I know her from somewhere. That's what you're doing the announcing us to have. And I was like, I know her from someplace. That was right after I had surgery, so yes. still recovering. Or not anymore, but I was then. <laughs> so, you, you, you live in Moody? I live in Moody, Texas. You were born in... I was born in Temple. You were born in Temple, but you lived in Moody after you got born. Um, no, I lived in Temple until I was 10. Okay. And then um, my sister passed away. And after my sister passed away, we moved to Moody. But that's where my dad's family is from. You know, been there basically my whole life. So, do you like really, really old farm out there? Or do you live in little subdivisions out there? No, I live in Moody, Texas. Live in Moody? In Moody. Like, there's a water tower. I live three blocks from the water tower. Cool, cool, cool. I got a lot of friends living in Moody. Mm. A lot of friends. You need to make new friends. Well, you're my friend. Well, but I'm not saying me. Well, that's what you guys been saying. I'm not saying me in particular. I'm saying people from Moody. It's, well, it's a diverse crowd. Let's 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 get let's get back into the wrestling. Losing me wrestling. Yeah. Who actually trained you? I'll say the guys at NSF. I mean, we I trained well, with Ryan Gen- Ryan Genesis, Bubba Dumplings, uh, just Willie. You know, all those guys had a hand in training me. I, you can't really just say that one person trained you. So you really didn't go to a school school? Well, I was training with the RCW guys okay. for probably six months in San Antonio. And okay. then I started going to clinics. I went to clinic with Les Thatcher, okay. Charlie Haas, Chase Stevens, Alice in Danger when I was in North Carolina. Um, I did a little bit of work with Jerry Lynn. You know, all these guys have a part in making you better when you're a wrestler. Yeah. Those are some those are some nice names. Les Thatcher, Jerry Lynn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, I mean, Jerry Lynn was just great to sit down and listen to. So was Les Thatcher telling you about how it was in old school wrestling. Well, Sa- Sa- that's got his ones too. Oh, Sa- yeah. Sa- likes to sit down with these guys and drink beer with them. Cheers. Actually, actually drink beer with Jerry Lynn. I even got pictures of me drinking beer. No. I heard about a vodka story vodka. with Jerry Lynn. The had vodka, Jerry Lynn, yes. But we'll keep that. That was nice. Okay. That was nice. So, mm-hmm. back to wrestling. Right. Now, oh, Jerry Lynn is wrestling. What are you talking about? Female wrestling. Okay. Okay. Now, is there anybody in the female circuit that you would like, again, to step in the ring with? I would love to, to wrestle Beth Phoenix, too. I mean... I'll tell you the ones that you wrestled. Who would oh. you like to get back in the ring with now? Get back in the ring with? Yes. Um, I would like to wrestle Amanda Fox again, Athena, any of the girls from ACW. Um, I would love to like be in a one-on-one match with Athena and just, you know, no holds barred. Just me and her. I got a match that I'd love to see you wrestle. What's that? I'd love to see you wrestle Mischief. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. I, I would love to see you with Mischief. That, that'd, be, that'd be freaking awesome. She might be hollering in my face, though. Like, that's a little freaky, don't you think? That'd be cool, though. But I love Mischief. She works so well. Her and Athena tore it down yes. in the match I saw at the Joshi tournament. Yes, it did. That was, I want to say, the best match on the card. What do you think the future holds for you? You never know. I mean, wrestling is so up and down right now, you know, taking a little bit of time off, you know, trying to get in better shape. I want to... I want to look better as well as, you know, be better in the ring. You can't settle on mediocre in wrestling. And, and a lot of people don't understand that. So I, I want to get in better shape. And, you know, look for a lot out of Lily May in 2011. I'm going to more states. I'm going, you know, trying out for more things. We'll see. So is Lily May single? A lot of the guys want to know. Yes, Lily May is single. Lily May is single, guys. Trust me, she'll make your country dreams come true. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> hey. there, there, yeah. There's people out there that actually do worship you. No. People do not worship me. Wait, I told you about some of my Facebook emails. 